What's up guys? I've, uh, I've been getting the question a lot about how to make pie cuts and how to get the right uh, center line radius and what the angle means, the angle of the cut, the total angle of the pie. And so today we're going to go over some stuff like that and I'm going to get you guys up to date. Uh, you can make your own pie cuts um, and kind of know what you're doing. All right, so to lay out on your piece of pipe how to cut the pie cuts is pretty simple. <laughs> There's a few different ways you can do it. This is the method that I usually use. So you take your piece of pipe. This one is just a scrap piece of two and a half inch. Um, all you need to do this is a marker, uh, masking tape, or probably masking tape would work best, um, and calipers or a tape measure. So all you want to do is wrap your tape around your pipe, leave some pipe showing, don't put this right at the edge, and you want to wrap your tape around your pipe and at the end when it overlaps You want it to be kind of like this. So you want to have both pieces of tape showing right here and a little bit of pipe. So what we're going to go ahead and do is take our marker, draw a line across the top layer of tape, the bottom layer of tape, and the pipe. Straight line. And mark them all at once at one point. Then you Take your piece of tape off the pipe you lay it down on a table or something so it's nice and flat and then you take your calipers or your tape measure And you measure the distance from center to center of your two marks that you will have. You'll have one over here and one over here. So you measure that. And I'm getting about 7.9 inches roughly. So let's just say our measurement was 8. on the dot you would take eight divide it by two and then from either one of these lines you would take that measurement so we started with eight we divide it by two we get four this isn't an the actual calculation for two and a half inch i'm just doing an example so you measure four inches from either one of these outer lines and you draw a line in the middle, right at four inches or right in between the two, uh, whatever your number is. And then you take that and you line the mark that you just made, line that up with the mark on the pipe. and then wrap it around and the two original marks that you made should line up. You can see we've got our two original marks and on the opposite side of the pipe is our center mark and the, the mark that we first made on our pipe. You mark this line halfway between the two on this side with it laid out on the table and then you line this mark up the third mark that you drew the very last one that you drew when it was down on the table you line up with the original mark on the pipe and then you wrap it around you check that 
these two marks. Sorry for the horrible lighting. Set these two marks on both layers of tape line up. And then you make a mark on this side where those two marks are. And then if you peel your piece of tape off, you'll see that you have one mark here and one mark here, perfectly across from each other. The next thing you want to do is get a square or a piece of angle iron. And you want to, now this, you've got to make sure you've got square cut ends, which I don't at the moment, because uh, this is just a scrap piece. But make sure you've got square cut ends, either factory cut ends from Stainless Bros or I don't re really recommend getting pipe anywhere else um, other than, you know, the reputable Ace Race or whatever. There's more with uh, good pipe, but I just buy it from Stainless Bros. They'll have nice straight ends. But anyways, make sure you got a straight end. Use a piece of angle iron or a square, and you start at one of your marks. And you mark all the way down your pipe. My line is crooked, but because my ends aren't square, but uh, if yours is crooked, your ends aren't square, or you're holding the square or the angle iron wrong. So you do two lines. And then... You take this over to the bandsaw or the chop saw or whatever you're on and you measure up from your where the pipe sits on your cutting tool. You measure up half of the diameter of your pipe. So if you're working with three inch you measure up an inch and a half uh, and you make a mark on your the jaws or the vise of your bandsaw or chop saw. And uh, when you go to cut, you line up one of these black lines. You line that up with the mark on your, on your saw. And you set your angle and you make one cut. And then you leave the angle the same and you turn it so that the opposite line is then lined up with the mark on your saw and then you cut again and then you just alternate cut cut spinning 180 degrees each time and making sure that this line uh, one of the lines is uh, lined up correctly with the line on your saw um, so that's about it. Your first piece that you cut off will have a straight end and then an angle on one side. You can use it, but it's not technically a double angled piece of pie. So I usually throw them away and sometimes they come in handy for something. But so your first piece will technically be junk. And then your second piece and everything after that until the last piece of the pipe, if that has a square end. Uh, all of those will be your good pies. So now I'm going to clean this stuff up. And now we're going to talk about what angles you want to cut in your pies, um, how to get the right center line radius, and what all that stuff means. So this is a four and a half degree, also known as a nine degree, uh, loose radius pie cut. Um, the four and a half degree means the angle of the cut, and that is done on both sides. So 
this is four and a half degrees and this is four and a half degrees which totals nine degrees so from here to here when you put this in an assembly in a pipe that that's nine degrees of transition um now people a lot of times uh confuse that with center line radius uh which although it may have some effect on your center line radius um that's not the true uh determining factor of your final center line radius of your pie cut bin so pretty much you can start you can go four and a half uh seven and a half i mean you can really do anything but the common ones are four and a half and seven and a half also known as nine or 15 degree pies uh, i've done uh nine degree cuts for 18 degree pies i think i've done 10 degree cuts for 20 degree pies um but all that does is change the number of actual pies that you will have in a 45 or a 90 degree or whatever bend. So say you need a 60 degree bend, you can cut three 20 degree pies. So three pies with 10 degree cuts on either side and put them together. And then you'll have three pies making a 20 degree or sorry 60 degree bend um so essentially the angle of the cuts and the final angle of the pie uh determines the number of uh pies you will have in your bend like a four and a half degree uh there are 10 uh 10 pies in a 90 and a seven and a half degree uh or 15 degree which is the same thing i believe they're labeled seven and a half most places a seven and a half degree pie will have only six pies in a 90. so you've got with a four and a half you've got 10 and with a seven and a half you've got six and it's really simple uh four and a half degree cuts is a nine degree angle total in your pie uh so nine times five well nine times ten is a ninety nine times five is a forty five uh so it's just your angle times whatever and you can change the angle if you want a certain degree cut just make it a multiple of that uh that uh, or if you want a certain degree bend, just make it a multiple and then how many pieces you need to get to that angle that you're looking for. Um, so the actual way to, now that I think I've covered uh, cut angles and whatnot uh, thoroughly, uh, let's talk about actually center line radius now. So. This is a loose radius pie, as I mentioned. Uh, basically what that means is that instead of having a bend that goes like this, you're gonna have a bend that goes like this. So it's gonna be more gradual and not as tight. If you want a loose bend, you make these, so you've got your thick side, You've got the thick side of your pie cut, and you've got the skinny side of your pie cut. This skinny side is what determines your center line radius. All right, so these are four inch titanium pie cuts. And here we've got a tight radius, tight radius, and a loose radius. So you can see here, you're looking at both of the skinny ends. This skinny end right here is a lot thicker than this skinny end. Like, 
a lot skinnier because when you take a loose radius and a loose radius, you're going like this. When you take a tight radius, you're going like this because those inside short, uh, those smaller uh, skinny ends stack much more compactly and go like like this rather than like this and make a tighter bend. So there's calculators out there. If you want to calculate a specific center line radius, you can calculate the uh, how wide this skinny end needs to be. And that is the true way to figure out your center line radius. It doesn't really have anything to do with the actual angle uh, of your pie cuts. It's more so the width of the skinny side of your pie cut. So I figured I would clear that up for you guys. Uh, I know a lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that. Um, but it's very, very helpful to know. And another little tip when you're welding pie cuts. Not all, but some manufacturers have a weld seam. on their pies and you can use that to line it up to make sure they're all on the same center and you're not uh you're getting a perfect bend and not one that's curving slightly one direction or another all right guys that's all for today's video if you have any other questions first go check my how to weld playlist on my channel uh there's a whole series on how to weld stainless steel pipe um, I also am planning on doing a series like that for titanium as well as aluminum, but if your questions aren't covered in how to weld stainless series, uh, drop them in the comments. Um, anything to do with fab, that series is just on welding, uh, the actual purging, prep, and weld of stainless pipe if you have anything else drop it in the comments maybe i'll make a video on it and thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video